Oh, it's 100% worth it. It's 100% worth it. Because the interesting thing about it is, and the ironic thing about it is, even though you're only on stage for, let's say, 15, 20 minutes, the impact that you can leave on that stage can last forever. George Peterson. A bodybuilder builds. That's what you go in the gym to just get big and strong. These guys are shaping and sculpting. And this guy right here, I mean, I said it last year, he should move into the 212. He'd, he'd definitely be a threat. All the, the, the hungry days and going through training tired and you're hurting sometimes, it's definitely worth it for sure. My name is George Peterson III, AKA The Bull. What bodybuilding does for me personally, it, uh, it just helps build and maintain discipline. I feel like the bodybuilding lifestyle gives structure and a sense of discipline that a lot of people in general society don't have. My sense of discipline comes from my experience in martial arts and, and that carried over into my bodybuilding. That's the reason why I've been able to uh, stick to my, my training and my diet as a bodybuilder. But bodybuilding has added on to my discipline. So as disciplined as I was when I first got into bodybuilding, I'm even more disciplined now from bodybuilding. I think that's six days officially right now. So the 2020 Tampa Pro is right around the corner and I'm right on track as far as prep is concerned. And get, getting leaner day by day. It's very exciting, especially since I'm going to be in this uh, a new division for me, which is uh, the 212 division, moving from classic physique over to 212. It was definitely time, uh, especially after the 2019 Mr. Olympia. I felt like I brought my absolute best that I could in classic, and there was no no more nowhere else to go uh, with that weight limit that I had to make. The objective in bodybuilding is to build muscle and lose as much fat as possible. And you want to try to keep as much muscle as possible, but having to make the weight for classic Zeke, and, you know, which was 192 pounds, it would force me to have to lose muscle also. And that takes away from your look, that, that wow factor you could bring on stage. So now I can uh, actually step on stage with just my absolute best and keep that wow factor. And uh, I feel like it's going to be a dramatic, dramatic difference than what you saw uh, previously of being classic physique. Right now, headed to my coach's house, Justin Miller, do some training. Get these muscles working. You know, probably go over a little strategy. They'll tell me how I'm looking after having two days of carbohydrates. I'll go from there. Do you want to train right now? Like, be honest. <laughs> Honestly, no. I mean, I'd much rather, you know, stay home and, you know, kind of lay down and chill. But, uh, Got to do it. Got to do got it. One week, bro. One week. <laughs> I'd be lying if I say I felt like I wanted to train right now. I'd be lying, you know, because I'm just so like, you know, so, so depleted and tired that um, I mean, you know, yeah, even though you have the car, I have the, you know, the, the days of carbohydrates. They were clean carbs. They were just potatoes, but they don't stay with you for very long. You know, what I mean, you're good, you're good for that day, you know, but then it kind of wears off and you're back to that low, that low energy state. This is my, yeah, my COVID gym. 
This is actually my house I grew up in. I've lived here since 1975. George's been coming here. Um, he's had a couple, you know, offers from little private facilities and stuff. So we made it like the days I couldn't do it here, he would go there. But this has been a, a crazy, crazy time. You know, so we may do the best we could. And, and George looks, I, you know, I give George and my other athletes who are still going and, and looking to do the competitive season for 2020 a lot of credit because it's really difficult. You know, it's difficult to in, in, in the New York, New Jersey area because we've had no gyms, we still have no gyms. So, you know, you got to make do, it's old school. It's just been really challenging to find a you know a decent place to train, and you know, and, and the one thing that's been uncertain since the whole you know like pandemic and everything is whether whether the show was going to happen or not. Fortunately, it definitely looks like the show is happening. Um, but you know, even if even if it did, and let's say tomorrow we got a post saying it was canceled, you know what? Then that means we just got to roll with the punches and adjust. That's that that's what life is about. It's about adapting. And that was one. That was one of the, one of Bruce Lee's philosophy: ad, adaptation, adapting to, to situations. This is where it all all began. I still remember the first time I trained here back in 2016. has been a controversial figure in classics since the beginning. The first show we ever did, one of my friends who's a judge, what the F are you doing yelling? I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, he would have won the overall in bodybuilding. What the hell is this guy doing classic for? Because he might win nationals in bodybuilding. What are you guys doing? So I was like, well, I don't know. He just, he wants to do classic. Even from the beginning, there was varied opinions of what classic is. My name is Justin Miller, and I've been George's coach since June of 2016. George is, is a different breed in, in terms of his mental focus. So even though he's super deprived, I diet him harder than I diet most people because his muscles stay round and full. It, even when he's super depleted, George is a rock mentally. He's had very few moments where he wavered at all mentally. There's, there's no complaining, there's no, um, I don't have to worry if he's doing the right thing when he's not with me. You know, George is, uh, he follows orders. He's an amazing soldier. What's the reason why I'm putting myself through this? For greatness. I'm George, the Ball Peterson's mother. And I'm Renee, I am George Peter Ball's sister. He was very phenomenal as a little kid. Easy going, very, very respectful. He was a little thin boy, <laughs> I mean, he just blew up. I could not even believe it, is, is that my same George? He is a dedicated individual. Uh, whatever he set his mind to, he was going to be successful at it. That's always been George. Uh, so. And, and, the, and I wasn't too surprised because I think uh, genetically, George always had some sort of like athletic um, uh, thing about him. My father, our father, he was a amateur boxer. He's very disciplined. He got that from karate because with karate, it's very disciplined. One of the great things about when you do well you know, in a show or, or anything in life, being able to come and, and, and show that trophy to my mother, show it to my sister, looking at the, the expression on their face when they see I do well. And, I, and even if I don't do well, they're, they're, they're like, they're my, my crutch, you know, like I have them to lean on, which uh, is extremely appreciative. So, uh, I, you know, I appreciate, I appreciate the world of them and I'm always supportive of them as well. We, we're a small family and that's the reason why we have to uh, constantly keep each other up. Now, you know, being six days out from the uh, 2020 Tampa Pro, it's that time of, uh, of prep, you know, where you just go hard. Are you hungry right now? 
Yes, I'm starving. George has not missed a meal. Not one meal. He's eaten six meals a day, every day, since 2016 when, when he was prepping for the Nationals and he turned pro. I mean, George is, um, has a unique focus. I have no other athletes, and I train a lot of athletes. I've never had an athlete who didn't miss a meal basically for four years straight. That's, it's unique. I see every day what he does, what he prepares, and um, he's very strict with what he has to eat. I might offer him something and he'll say, oh, that's not in my diet, I can't do that. To me, that says how disciplined he is. So I'm not at all surprised um, about his, his dedication to that. The diet is what makes the work you put in the gym effective. Because you can go to the gym all you want, but if you don't get your meals in, all those workouts are gonna go to waste. Your, your muscles are not gonna grow. George's protein is always a minimum 300 grams of protein a day. His fats are moderate. He's at about between 50 to 70 grams of fat per day, but his carbs are very, very low. I always tell people coaching isn't about all, you know, X's and O's, as they say, like in football. It's not a, you know, just about grams of protein and grams of carbs and grams of fat. It's a much deeper thing. And I think if you, a coach and an athlete have a strong bond, like George and I have, it really helps. Our plan was to cut cardio. We're gonna cut it on Tuesday before we leave, maybe even Monday. But looking at him today, uh, his mannerisms, uh, his cheeks, the way he looks, his, his physique, like, he's tired, you know, so he doesn't even need to do cardio tomorrow. We're just kind of going to coast on into Tuesday, you know, because you deplete someone too much, it's hard to carve them back up. What do you feel like right now? Ugh. I kind of feel like I'm just a uh, daily, I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of just existing, but like I'm not fully there, you know, like. I'm here, but, but I'm not at the same time. It's just so tough. If being the best on earth at anything was easy, then everybody would do it, but everybody can't do it. This guy can. I'm gonna check my weight right now, see where I'm at. Like I said, 210. The anxiety that I, for me at least, is not there anymore. You know, and that was the worst part of getting ready for those classic shows, just that anxiety. I knew, I knew I had full 100% faith that Justin would get me down to the weight, but just, just, you know, but, it, but that anxiety was always still there. You were doubting it. I was doubting it, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I was just- You and, you and Ricky and, and it wasn't that Ricky I was doubting was Justin. Me. It wasn't that I was doubting Justin, I was doubting my own body. I was like, why is my body going up in weight when it should be going down sometimes? What's the fuck, you know, what's going on? You know, like, you you're know. 14 uh, pounds over the day. Yeah, and it made me nervous, you know? You're like, you sure there's no problem? I said, we got this. <laughs> well, what pushes me is, you know, the, the fact that I know that I've come this far. You came this far, so you can't stop now. You can't, you, you, you know, you're at the point of no return. You, you gotta keep going. At the end of the day, if I do what I'm supposed to do, and I, you know, follow my training and my diet and bring the look that I want to bring, then people are gonna know me for that. And, uh, and that is priceless. back to the NYC from Tampa, and we won the first place in the 212 division. This was my 212 debut, and we won right out the gate, which punched us the ticket for the 2020 Mr. Olympia being held in Vegas in December. So next stop is Vegas, baby, let's get it.